the level of voters turnout in Nigeria's elections has been on a decreasing trend, with barely over 20% of Nigerians deciding the fate of a nation from a population of over 250 million people. Plus, the Venice correspondent Emmanuel Obluboko in his report takes a look at the level of voter education in electoral processes as the nation inches close to the general elections in 2023. In our democratic dispensation, power lies with the people. Sadly, the reality of this power is yet to be tapped fully. According to statistics from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, only about 25% of the over 70 million registered voters in Nigeria in the 2011 general elections participated in the voting process. This implies that over 65% of registered voters did not vote, thereby trivializing their civic rights. The electoral body claims to have done its bit in sensitizing the populace on their rights and roles in electioneering, but obviously it is yet to be impactful. Our next major issue is to make sure that we sensitize our people in relation to how and where they can collect their permanent voters' cards uh, to enable them to uh, vote on election day. Uh, so in terms of the uh, uh, processes and procedures of the commission, uh, we have targeted civic and voter education, uh, both at the national level, the state level, and at the local government level. INEC had earlier noted that the bimodal voter accreditation system, BVAS, alongside all electronic gadgets that would be deployed for the 2023 elections, would end the era of rigging. Okui throws more light on what is expected from voters. We introduced the INEC voter enrollment device for purposes of voter registration uh, for the election itself. We have introduced the beavers for purposes of voter authentication on, on, on election day. And the beavers will be in a position uh, to read the fingerprints of uh, registrants and their, and their facials. And if the beavers is unable to read either your fingerprint or your facial, the implication is that you are engaged in identity theft and we are not going to allow you to vote. There are so many variables and variegated reasons why people uh, may develop a certain aloofness uh, to voting and the voting process. Okay. There are those who may believe that uh, they have been voting previously and government has not really worked for them. Mm. There, are also, there are those who may believe that um, um, the atmosphere on election day may not be conducive for their exercise of their democratic and civic rights. There are also those who may believe that if they vote, their votes will not count. Our desire yes. and our wish is that all those who registered during the continuous voters registration exercise and all those who registered uh, prior to the 2019 general election uh, should turn up on election day and exercise their democratic mandate. Only 28 million people were recorded to have voted in the last general election in 2019 as against the country's over 200 million people. But with the recent massive turnout of citizens registering for their permanent voters card, the polls in 2023 may be a game changer. Our main focus at this moment Okay. is to make sure that those who register during the continuous voters registration exercise uh, turn up to come and um, uh, collect their permanent voters cards because it is only those who show up on election day uh, that can affect a change in our electoral process it is only those who show up that can exercise their right of free choice and it's only those who show up that can exercise their sovereign right of voting for candidates of their choice what we need to do um, as a society is to continue to encourage this, continue to encourage participation, uh, continue to encourage um, turnout in particular, because um, the more we have people um, involved in the voting process, the, the higher the chances that you'll get a better quality decision in terms of whoever eventually wins. So it pays all of us if we have a 60% voter turnout than if we had 33%. So having 33% decide for 200 million people you know, or let's say having the last election um, uh, was decided by 28 million people. On behalf of 200 million, you know, that, that's very, very poor. The Center for Democracy and Development is one of many civil society organizations that has criticized the widespread vote buying and low voter turnout during elections. There are, however, high hopes that with enough and clear voter education, 
power will no doubt return to the people at the polling booths. Manuel Olububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.